Yes, so today we're going to be exploring how to demonstrate the flow state. Now this is a really relative term that's uh, more popular in psychology than uh, any specific neuroscience fields, but it mostly describes the state where the prefrontal cortex doesn't do a whole lot of resisting from uh, the other subcortical parts of the brain, which uh, mostly rely on muscle memory, previously established habits and behaviors. Now there's a specific group of people that have taken advantage of this mental state called flow artists, believe it or not. So to demonstrate this, I will be using poi which is the ancient art of spinning balls in a string. So I haven't touched these in over a year, and this should be a, a way to exemplify how muscle memory is still deeply, uh, deeply seated in body motions. Now I want to specify, this is flow arts. It's not guitar or any kind of instrument that uses very precise, intricate uh, memorization of things with a very small region of the brain. This is uh, a larger region of the motor cortex or parietal lobe in the brain that does or executes large motions so it makes sense that these would be a little easier to memorize i guess but either way let's see what happens if i try this blindfolded uh, i cannot see anything So, I can talk while I'm doing this, and I can describe what I'm doing, because that relies on also well-established muscle memory, and patterns that I've formed while communicating over the years. Language relies heavily on something that we could call muscle memory, or forms of usual memory. So, I can communicate to the camera at the moment while I'm doing this. But if someone were to distract me, or ask that I start doing a move like this, or something, that probably would throw me off. If I were to overthink the situation, or perhaps consider people in the audience or something like that, then I would probably mess up, because it would be an interruption of my direct tapping into the subcortical parts of the brain and muscle memory. The subcortical parts of the brain contain muscle memory, but I think you understand what I mean. So I'm able to do this with my eyes closed because the parietal lobe has maps of the environment and the vestibular cortex has maps of your body's orientation in that environment. And there's some other part of the brain that's taken account for where these balls are spinning and knows where they will land such that it will not interfere with where my body is in the environment. This is the same thing that, I mean, I'd like to say this is a good example of evidence for the flow state because it's the same thing that guitarists and, it, and instrument players can do after they've learned to master their craft or get, get good at implementing muscle memories, muscle memory actions. They can close their eyes and shred. So I can also, I guess, bounce it off of parts of my body pretty dependently. Let's find out if I can back that claim. So yeah, this is a, hopefully a useful demonstration of the flow state. If you like videos like this, feel free to subscribe. I plan on doing more videos like this to describe more neurophysiological and uh, psychological concepts and more experimental versions like this. Thanks for watching.